Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose f is a function from a to b, and g is a function from b to c. Note that g compose f is a function from a to c. If f and g are surjective, then so is g compose f. Okay, so to start, what does it mean for a function to be surjective? Well, if we consider, for example, our function f, what it means is, is for every element in this set, there is an element in this set that maps onto the element in that set. So, more specifically, it means for every element b in b, there is an element a in a such that b equals f of a. And similarly, to say that g is surjective, it means that for every element c and c, there is an element b and b such that c equals g of b. And lastly, what does it mean for g compose f to be surjective? It means that for every element c and c, there is an element a and a such that c equals g compose f of a. Okay, so let's get into the proof. Let's suppose that we've already declared functions f from a to b and g from b to c, and so now we want to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's suppose this is true. And our whole goal now is to prove that g compose f is also surjective, which means we want to prove that this statement is true. And we're trying to prove a statement about every element in C. So give me an arbitrary element of C. I'll call it C. Now, let's use the fact that G is surjective. Since G is surjective, we know for a fact that this second statement is true. And we know that this statement works for every element in C. So it must work for the C that we have in our proof. So really, what that means is we can choose some element, say b in b, such that c equals g of b. And now we can use the fact that f is surjective, right? What does it mean for f to be surjective? Well, it means that this first statement is true. And this statement works for every element in b. So it must work for the B that we have in our proof. So really we can conclude that we can choose some element A in A such that B equals F of A. Okay, now we know that A is an element of A and G compose F is a function from A to C which means that g compose f has a functional value at a. So we can make sense out of g compose f of a. But really, if you recall from composition of functions, we know that g compose f of a is the same thing as g of f of a. And f of a is just equal to b. So we can replace f of a with b. But g of b is equal to c. So we have that g compose f of a is equal to c. Okay, so putting this all together, we started with an arbitrary element, c in c. And we proved that there is an element a in a such that c equals g compose f of a. And since c was arbitrary, this means for every element c in c, there is an element a in a such that c equals g compose f of a. So really, we have proven precisely this statement which means we've proven that g compose f is surjective. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove this theorem. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.